I came across a video online where they tested a tomato using a pregnancy detection kit, the one for human beings, and it turns out to be positive. I want to see whether it's the same thing that will happen. I have a tomato here, and I have the kit. And as much as uh, there are different brands, what I know is they check for HCG, human chorionic gonadotrophin hormone, and this is what usually indicates whether you're pregnant or not. Just several more things, but that's the main thing. Let's get to it. Now, I have this. This is my tomato. I'll cut it into two. And, uh, ah, it's a tomato. So as you saw, I was never turned to be positive, but uh, you know, there's something we call cross reaction, whereby you'll find that something that you're not targeting can react with your kid to give a positive result. You remember Tanzania when they were testing Pow Pow, giving out a positive result for COVID-19? It can be, and that's why manufacturers usually control as much of other things that can give the same result, as a true result, as much as possible, because that one, can be confusing, but then why would you be testing a tomato in the first place? Okay. It's meant for human beings, you know? <laughs> you know, we have things that can imitate a human chemical, which is being uh, tested in, by a test. So that's why it's actually very important to declare some of like, for example, where did you get the sample from? And that's why you have sample preference. You have um, the only point or the best sample that you can get for a certain test. Like for example, we have the same from urine. You can still get the same test from blood because you're checking for HCG. But if you have another compound imitating uh, the HCG hormone that you're checking, it will still turn out to be positive. But this one looks very nice or maybe it's the variety of the tomato, I don't know. I'm not <laughs> anyway, see you in the next video.